Three days ago, I had an encounter with one of those crazy clowns that everyone's hearing about lately. Most people are running into them on the road in the safety of their cars. I, however, had a much more disturbing encounter. I live in Massachusetts. My property is enclosed by trees with a long, winding driveway leading to the road. During the day, I was cutting down a drooping branch from a tree above the entrance to my property. That's when I first saw him. A clown. Or a guy dressed as a clown, I should say, walking down the side of the road and stopping very slowly right at the center of the start of my driveway. He very gradually turned his head to face me, body still facing the road. I had to give him credit, his clown costume was terrifying, the mask looked horror movie status. I chuckled to myself and smiled in his direction. Judging by everyone else's experiences, I was expecting him to start bluff charging me, but he didn't. He just turned his head back to the road and kept walking. I would have said something, but I guess I just didn't care enough. That night I did my usual locking up of the shed outside and shutting off all the lights. When I got inside to start making dinner, I thought I heard something coming from outside. I opened the kitchen window a little more, but all I could hear was the wind and leaves blowing. I shut the window completely now and resumed making the food. I almost had a heart attack when there was a heavy, aggressive knocking coming from that same window I just shut. My whole body immediately went into panic mode. I felt every body part shaking and my heart thumping twice as much than usual. I took the knife I had sitting on the counter and brought myself to look out the window, but it was literally too dark to even see past the glass. Once again, I struggled to sum up the courage to do something I felt needed to be done, which was this time to turn on the patio light and go outside. So I walked over to the back sliding glass door in my kitchen, put my finger under the light switch, afraid to flick it, waiting for a good five seconds, and finally did it. The horror I was afraid to experience out there came prematurely before I could even step outside. The patio light exposed the same clown from earlier, standing right outside the sliding glass door, head tilted like a dog staring at me behind the ugly mask. I could have and probably should have opened the door there and then and stabbed the guy, or at least threatened him, but it's so easy to think back and say I should have done that. Instead, I simply ran upstairs to the telephone where I called the police. I could hear banging on the heavy glass door downstairs all the way up from my bedroom, and it got worse as the clown started pounding with both hands repeatedly as opposed to the slow and steady knocking he was giving before. It got the worst when the clown started screaming like a psychotic asylum patient over the sounds of the pounding on the door. I felt like I was going to die. Literally every minute that went by that the cops hadn't arrived yet felt like five minutes. The screaming and banging finally came to a stop when I heard a familiar voice outside yelling what the hell are you doing and get the fuck out of here. I looked out the window to see Marv, my neighbor, walking over with a rifle in his hand. When I went outside to greet and thank him, he told me the clown ran off into the woods. The cops arrived briefly after that and took down my description, did a quick five minute sweep of the property, and left. Marv let me crash at his place for the night just in case. We don't play with shit when it comes to our well-being and safety. So yeah, at the time I'm sharing this, that was only three days ago in the midst of all this clown horror. <laughs>